The doge was a title used for the head of the state of the Republic of Venice. The term comes from the Latin dukes, which means that the one who leads, guides, general, chief or leader. The office of the doge was established at the beginning of the 8th century with the election of Paolucho Anafesto and became a pivotal moment in the history of Venice as it marked the beginning of its evolution from a coastal refugee community to a powerful maritime republic. Initially, it enjoyed great power, but as the years went by, there were considerable changes. From 1912, after the death of Pietro Tribuno, the appointment was no longer hereditary, but elective, and an increasing number of magistracies replaced his power. His was a multifunctional role within the Republic. He was the head of the state, the commander-in-chief of the armed forces, and the head of St. Mark's Church. In addition, he was responsible for the day-to-day -day administration of the city and had significant power in foreign policy and trade matters. Its authority was balanced by a number of government bodies and institutions, including the Great Council, the Council of Ten, and the Senate, which helped to limit its power. The Doge also played an important symbolic role. His figure embodied the unity and stability of the Republic of Venice, and the appointment ceremony was a grandiose and a highly choreographed event. The election was a complex and a highly ritualized process that combined elements of democracy and aristocracy and functioned in a rather peculiar and articulated way. With the Great Council in plenary session, the ballots were arranged for the number of members over 30 years of age. To the youngest was given the task of going to St. Mark Square and choosing the first boy he met, who had to extract the ballots from the box for each of them. Only those 30 who had the word elector stayed in the room. From here, nine more were drawn, and then, through a complex system of choice and randomness, the number of candidates varied in number until the final choice was reached. If the name of the chosen one did not satisfy the majority, the case would be taken to the bitter end. If therefore seems that the term ballot, handed down to us, derives from the Venetian electoral system. Once the choice was made, the new doge was announced to the public. This proclamation took place in St. Mark's Square in front of a cheering crowd, who which it was proclaimed, this is the doge, if you like, in memory of the fact that the choice was not dictated by any divine power. This was followed by the ride on a wooden structure carried on the shoulders of the arsenal workers. The ceremony of the promise or the constitutional oath, took place on the top of the giant's staircase inside the palace, where he promised loyalty to the Republic and on whose head was placed not a crown, but the horn hat. Despite the majesty of the election and ceremonies, his power was limited by the Venetian constitution and forced by the Great Council and the Council of Ten. The Great Council was a body composed of members of the Venetian elite, who had the task not of only choosing the doge, but who wanted to prevent the accumulation of power in the hands of a single individual, and who could therefore revoke his appointment if they felt that he had betrayed the Republic or acted against its interests. The Council of Ten, on the other hand, had the function of security against any attempt coup d'etat. In fact, it was established with an emergency procedure less than a month after the conclusion of the Bayamonte Tiepolo conspiracy of 1310, which wanted to overwhelm the power of the Great Council, from which some patricians had been excluded, so that it would prevent and immediately repress any further attempt at subversion, internal or external. In 1355, during the government of Marin Faliero, there was an attempt coup d'etat involving the doge himself, 
who aspired to dynastic and not elective power. The conspiracy was discovered shortly before it could be enacted. The doge was beheaded where the giant's staircase now stands, where he had received the promise, to symbolize that there, where he had received the ducal horn, he would lose both his power and his life. The Republic of Venice had firmly demonstrated that no coup attempt or rebellion would succeed. The name Marin Faliero was erased from the registers and his face removed from the hall of the Great Council. It must be said, however, that over the centuries the figure of the doge became more and more an expression of the interests of the most powerful members of the aristocracy, who easily managed to hold important positions within the government. During the entire Venice history, there were 120 doges, and this was never interrupted by any monarchy. The last, Ludovico Manin, fled when he heard the cannon shots fired by Napoleon's fleet that was entering the city on May 12, 1797, thus decreeing the end of the longest-lived republic in the world.